Which one do you want? Give me. Which one do you want? Pick one. Which one do you want? Which one? Which one? You want this one? <laughs> do you want that one? Is that the one you want? There you go. Here's an early Christmas present. All right. Holy cow, those are really hard to squeeze. <laughs> there. What do you think? Do you guys like your new toys? <laughs> Aww. Aww, look at them. Go get it. Go get it. Get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it, get it. Get it, get it. What do you think, babe? So I will rip the tail out. <laughs> they got their new Christmas collars and they got Christmas llamas. What do you think, huh? Aww. You... Oh, I love that it doesn't take much to make them happy. <laughs> new toy? Check. Happy boy. <laughs> Dang it. I got busted. I said, I think I'm going to get rid of this one. And he's looking right at me. But look at it. He's killed it. It's, it's dead. <laughs> it's so dead. It's okay. Get your llama. You got a new llama. It's okay. <laughs> Stop. Okay, there you go. I can't even tell you how happy I am right now. We got a baby. This is Fern. Fern Hazel. Okay, that works. Her ear is completely in it, Nine Nine. I know. Oh, oh, baby. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> she was thirsty. She's quite thirsty. Just a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's good. That'll hold her until we get home. Fern, do you want a pellet? Do you want a puppy pellet? Yeah, just, a a, just a couple, right? Fern, you want it? Fern. Do you want some puppy food? Oh, yeah, some puppy food. What? There you go. Oh, good girl. Good girl. I don't know what the boys are going to think. I don't think we will find out I think yet. I love her. I think so too. Because she's another girl. Yeah. A whole piece is stuck to her ear. <laughs> <laughs> piece of food. Fern. Fern Hazel. Oh. 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 <laughs> oh. He's cute. <laughs> Got some strong daddy, food. she's eating and drinking. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> that's probably it. Just let her have a little bit because we are driving, we don't want to chance car sickness if we can help it or poop. And that collar won't tighten on her, huh? Mm -hmm. No, you guys can hold it for a little while.
Do you want to say hi so bad, huh? You want to say hi so bad? <laughs> Aww, what do you say? She's still not used to all the sounds. There's so many smells. The boys are mad. The cats are mad. Confused, I guess. I don't understand. Actually, for our first night, even though I'm exhausted, she did fairly well. And the boys did pretty good, too. Hey, good girl. Good girl. Yeah, good girl. She, uh, she cried a lot in her sleep last night. And she slept a lot on her way out here. Because she came all the way from Missouri to Colorado. So, we think she just had a lot of confusion herself last night, being first night in a new place. What? <gasps> what is that? Wow. Oh my gosh. That's Donuts' pool, guys. Look at that. Holy cow. It is holy cow. Is it heavy? Is it? <laughs> Did you show dad? Did you show him? Oh my gosh. So the girls are giving the ducks and chickens some fresh straw this morning and um, shavings for their house. While I'm in here trying to prevent all out war between these two and Hazel. They do good for a little bit, and then they, like, relapse, so it's going to take some time. But and now she's dropping little tasty morsels everywhere. The hard thing has been trying to find things for her to chew on that the boys can eat if they find pieces of, because um, they have always gotten sick with anything that has wheat in it. Um, so I've been looking for rice stuff. Uh, and potato stuff, mostly potato being the first ingredient. So, uh, these treats have been pretty good. Huh, you guys have had nice full bellies. Huh, have you, have you had full bellies? Huh? Good boys. Yes, I gotta go find a harness for her so that we can try walking her outside. Do you want your toy? Go get it. Go get it. Good girl. Good girl. Bring it here, Hazel. Bring it here, good girl. Bring it here. Bring it here, good girl. I forgot how much bloodhounds make a mess when they eat and drink. Her ears are always in a bowl. Uncle Jamie got her that bowl and some cute toys too. This bowl works pretty good because her ears flop outside of it. So it's just big enough for her nose. So it's a perfect welcome home present. Yeah, look at you. You're a mess. You're a mess. Yeah. You choked yourself, huh? So, it went better than I thought it would. I'm already exhausted and it's only not even one full day yet. <laughs> Hazel, Hazel, are you mad at us because we gave you bath? <laughs> are you mad at us because we gave you bath? Huh, good girl. Yeah. So we've had a little bit of, of diarrhea because of slight change in food and stress. Huh, can we dry you? Huh, can you look at me? Look at me. Yeah. 
Look at that. Oh, you're so sad. He's okay. I love you. He's a good puppy. He's so good. Yeah. Oh, it feels good, doesn't it? You're like getting the spot. She's like, yeah, that, that kind of does feel good. Maybe you won't smell like your brothers and sisters no more, huh? And mom and dad, huh? Yeah. Maybe my, my boys will be better to you, hmm? Hey, are you clean? Oh, she's going to lay on me with her big old wet body. Oh, now she's going to get you. Oh, uh oh. She's going to curl up. <laughs> Did that relax you? Are you ready for bed? <laughs> hmm? Hazel, I think I should bathe your brothers too, just to put them all on the same page. Stinky wet dogs. Bedroom's going to smell delightful tonight, huh? <laughs> She feels much softer. She was so good in the tub. I cannot believe how good she was. She's played with it, huh? She likes the tub. Yeah. Does that feel good? Does that feel good? She's like, I'm done. Oh, you're such a good baby. Huh? We just needed to give you a lavender bath and it settled you down for the night. That's it. She's done. All right, that's a wrap. <laughs> she does not like it. Like what, being wet? Yeah, she wants to dry yeah. off. Oh. 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 Hazel's had two playdates with Loki and Porkchop now, and she's gotten on famously with them. It's nice to have another um, big dog who is still a puppy that she can kind of grow up around and uh, enjoy some playtime. The boys have not um, been very kind to her. <laughs> they don't want anything to do with her, and so having Loki has been um, such a godsend. She really enjoys uh, getting worn out and then coming home and crashing afterwards. Hopefully the boys will warm up to her soon. Hazel, is that your best friend? Huh? My new best friend. Yep. <laughs> you get her. You get her. Tell her to. Be nice. Oh my goodness. Baylor, are you being a good boy? Good boy. Good boy. This is my favorite when she gets all tuckered out and then she passes out and sleeps. And you can just watch her and look at her cuteness. I, uh, I underestimated the uh, energy of a puppy, especially a large breed puppy. Um, it has been many years since we've had a large breed dog and um, the walks we are trying to do to wear her out are kicking this old lady's butt. <laughs> Baylor, do you want to tell him what's going on, huh? So we've had to um, adjust training methods because 
we have an aggressive dog. And through months and weeks of, and days <laughs> of uh, YouTube school for training dogs, um, my husband was thinking that we would probably have to go this route. Baylor is a good dog, but Baylor is an aggressive dog. And he has bit several people, um, including every member of this family, um, for no reason. Um, we have always chalked it to um, behavioral traumas that happened prior to us um, getting him. Because we were his third or fourth family uh, as a puppy when he came to us. And so at being you know, 10, 12 weeks old, we were already his third family third or fourth family. Um, and so we've always had cho uh, chalked his bad behavior to um, something happening in his prior homes. Um, we got him fixed right away and it helped some, but he has just always been an aggressive dog. Uh, not with his little brother dog, but with us humans and um, any other dogs and humans that he um, doesn't know. And so we've been trying to have more people visit, which has helped, um, but he's still not confident. And um, since Hazel has come to live with us now, uh, she has been here. Today is day three. He's already bit her three times. And um, through the training videos, um, you know, we're finding that um, doing this soft muzzle is a good way to get him confident. Um, and used to uh, being around other dogs, um, trying to socialize him more. Uh, we also stumbled across a video uh, from a very prominent dog trainer, and she was saying that thyroid issues can often be a sign of aggression. And he has often, Baylor, look at me, he has often, um, his whole life, been um, shaky, kind of nervous and um, always aggressive, even as a puppy. And so um, after I get her on her appointment on Monday, I'm going to talk to the vet about getting some thyroid testing for him so we can determine um, if maybe that might be part of the problem. Otherwise, it's lots of training, lots of praising. Um, I found a treat, finally, that he is not getting sick from. And so uh, that has been helping tremendously to have a food motivator for him. So he is actually doing amazing for me just putting this muzzle on him this morning. Um, the puppy has not been aggressive with him at all. Of course, she just wants to play. Uh, we have to work with her because of her size, but we have to work with him because of his aggression. And so ironically, when I put the muzzle on him, he quit shaking. Um, and he has been very calm. So I don't know what that means. Um, it's interesting. He's only tried to get it off just a little bit here and there. He's just not used to it. But on a whole, he has been so calm. It's weird. So this is where we're at. Uh, day three, trying to acclimate these guys. I mean, honestly, it could have gone so much worse than what it has. Um it's been really good, especially since she has been sleeping with us. Um, I was really worried about them trying to resource guard me um, and sleeping with her in the bed and stuff. But they've all been very, very good. Um, I'm not as stressed now with having Baylor muzzled now because he's the one that once he starts fighting, he doesn't stop. Uh, and so I feel uh, very, very confident that um, this is the route we need to go to uh, acclimate these guys better. So we are one tired family because this was not as seamless as I knew it wasn't going to be. I knew it. I was the only one that was like, this is going to be hard. This is going to be so hard, but that's okay. I mean, we're doing this together as a family and we are going to, um, you know, really work on behavior for these guys so that they can be good, well-adjusted puppers. So anyway, this is where we are at so far. I just kind of wanted to share that with you guys. Um, the kitties are doing 
okay. Um, Ogi still comes out and speaks to us. Stewie um, has not. <laughs> he he is angry, um, but that's okay. He's he's venturing out a little bit more. It's only day three, so we got we got a long road. We got a lot of little life forms that have to get used to Hazel, and that Hazel has to get used to as well. And because she's a baby moose. Um, you know, we have to really work on her about being gentle. Last night when I introduced her to the hamster, she was precious. She booped him with her nose and then that was it. She was good. Naya took her out this morning when she was doing the chickens and she watched, and the ducks, um, Hazel watched through the fence. She followed her around. And so she is doing very good with um, meeting all the animals and, um, you know, being pretty gentle. So she's tired. She's acclimating to so much so, so quickly, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy with where we've come so far already. So yeah. All right. I'll catch you guys up in a little while. What are you doing? What's the baby doing? What's the baby doing? Oh. What are you doing? Are you a sleepy girl? Oh, are you a sleepy girl? Hazel. Hazel. Oh, good girl. Happy, she's like just playing with me. Protect the bunny. Look gentle. Easy. Easy. Good girl. Did you see the bunny? Oh, you don't fall over. Hey. Hey. Oh, you made her fall. <laughs> Aww. She said, but dad. Gentle. Good girl. Is that a bunny? Boop. It, it, just open another can, honey. Look at the bunny. Look at the bunny, Hazel. Look at the bunny. You know how to eat his tail. Hey, 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 hey. Hazel Marie. <laughs> Hazel Marie Fern. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> All right, so today is day six of having her because it'll be a full week tomorrow, right? Yeah, so technically day seven. Sunday to Saturday, seven days. Well, we got her late on Sunday. So I'm doing Sunday to Sunday is a full week of having her. Don't pick on brother. Okay. Hey, Hazel. Oh, jeez. <laughs> no, you're so dramatic. Are you ready? Can you do this? Can you do it? 
All right, let's go. Come on, let's go. Stay away from Baylor. And he's kind of lifted. <laughs> I think we'll eventually get to the point where she's not crying the whole walk. And she's not crying every time we get in the car. <laughs> and it's hard because her brothers don't like her. <laughs> huh. Thank you, Emmy. That was good. This is temper tantrum in the car. Straight up. Hazel, Hazel Marie. <laughs> uh -oh. no. uh -oh. Uh -oh. Hazel Marie Fern. Hazel Marie Fern. Don't you <laughs> me, moony butt. Hey. <laughs> She's so <laughs> She's oh. Temper tantrum up, temper tantrum back down. Look at you. They think you're cute and wonderful. They don't live with you. <laughs> Stinker. Yeah. Girl has attitude. Yeah. You have attitude. We just got back from her first vet check. He told me he was going to trade me a big overweight black lab for her. <laughs> I said, can't do that. We love her too much. <laughs> We got a couple of Kong toys that lets treats come out slowly in the hopes that we can kind of fight the aggression that's going between the boys and her. But she's doing good. She got her shots. She cried all the way up. She cried all the way back. She cried all the way through Big R. <laughs> Big scary cat. You guys got puppy pellets everywhere. Look at them all over the floor. <laughs> She's just licking it. <laughs> oh. Get him, Emmy. Get him. I love how she just melts out of her bed. <laughs> oh my gosh, she makes me laugh. The vet gave her a pretty little bow. Huh. Nice. Good boy. Good boy. Good girl. Well, that's good. Uh. All right, so this is the first week of Hazel's life with us. Hazel Marie Fern. Huh. She's going to fall, yep. Thanks for uh, inviting the new puppy with us, guys. I'm sure you will see much more of her. As she gets bigger and starts learning to do more stuff on our baby stead here. We'll see you next time. Bye. Tons of money spent on toys. And look what the thing is playing with. <laughs> All of that money on toys.
and she prefers a box. <laughs> Hazel. <laughs> Stupid dog. Do a Just on the tray. Didn't rinse my hands off with the brush. And wash that brush out good.